chip first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, water. Okay. So this is it, guys. We got the uh, washing machine being hooked up. I'm gonna have uh, clean laundry by the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I still gotta put the footings on here. <clears throat> A little complicated, but not too much. Uh, Harv's pop is getting it over here from the other house because it's a good haul. Yes. So we're running the machine through the um, cotton cycle, which is recommended in the manual, that you should put it just a little, just a tiny bit of detergent. Uh, you run it through the cotton cycle on uh, 60, I think it's 60 Celsius. And, um, and that kind of like clean, cleans out the machine of all the res any residue or any, any old water that, that was left in there from the factory. So that's what we're doing here. We're running, running it on the uh, first on the cotton cycle, getting it cleaned up, getting it cleaned out and ready for the um, for the clothes. And you can you can see here. It's so it's so um, quiet. It's I'm so, you know that's one of the that's one of the things I notice right away. It's so much quieter than uh, the big machines at home. Um, it's really quiet. I hope it, uh, it seems like it's doing a great job. I don't know. I mean we'll see. Um, but I can tell you right now they bought this machine because the LG. The doors are much heavier. The plastic um, molding that on the inside is much thicker. The the um, the washing bin itself uh, is much heavier. Um, I just think this is a for the Philippines. I I don't know. I I haven't been able to find anything I like other than this this LG. So and I had to order it. They don't have it in stock because you know I don't know if it's because it's expensive or it's just not popular or. Or it's too popular. I have no idea. But, but I, I asked for the catalog. I did some research on the models, and I asked them at, at, at a Benson for the catalog, uh, for the LG catalog. And this is the one I picked out of the catalog. And then they had to call uh, Manila to see if they had it in the warehouse, and they did. And so they ordered it from Manila, and it took about three or four weeks for them to ship it to Bohol. And um, yeah, I picked it up at a Benson and put it in the back of the truck, and we took it home. <clears throat> so we're testing it out. So this is our first cycle of using the machine. Sorry about the reflection. So I just did a small load just to test it. I already did, I already ran it um, 
through with a small, a little bit of, a little, little bit of detergent uh, with no clothes to, uh, to wash it out. That's what was recommended. And now this is my first first load with the clothes. Got about 10 minutes left. <coughs> I, I use the cotton cycle for this one. It's just some towels and some uh, shirts and stuff. Very small load. Um, I'll have, when I open this drawer, I'm hoping maybe you guys can give me a recommendation on uh, where to put the, uh, the, the, um, the bleach. I'm really confused about where to put bleach in this machine. Does it go in the fabric softener compartment? I'm not really sure. But pretty, pretty quiet machine, very quiet. Um, it's, it's actually very level. We only had to raise this leg just a little bit, just a tiny bit. So that's good, that means the floor is pretty level. Happy about that. Um, it's really solid. Um, it's really, really solid machine. So far I'm happy with it. We'll see, we'll see if we get any rust around the edges. Uh, any rust here and rust along the bottom. And we'll see how the seal, we'll see how the seal holds up. Um, but I picked this machine because it, 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 it was much better built around the seam and around, around here. The other doors were like so flimsy and the material, the plastic material for the seal was um, really shoddy. But, um, this, this is about as close as you're going to get to a USA style uh, machine. That's just my opinion. So we'll see. Hi guys, so it is today, Tuesday, it's the end of the night, end of the day, it's about, I don't know, 6 o'clock, sun is going down, it's pretty much down, um, got the new washer machine hooked up and I'm doing a load of laundry right now, and uh, it's almost done drying, so we'll see, see how it dries, they say it doesn't really dry the clothes 100%, but I was just touching the machine and it's like so hot. You could like fry an egg on the top. Um, I'm not used to having machines like that where the, the heat comes, the heat is kind of like internal. There's no exhaust. Like there's no, you know where for the uh, hot air to go and come out. Uh, I don't know. I don't really understand how they uh, dry the clothes, these machines. Um, got a lot of painting done today. Um, starting the fence. And the biggest thing today was so excited about my uh, washing machine. Um, I know it sounds crazy, it's just a washing machine, but if you've been in the Philippines, if you've ever lived here, uh, washing clothes is a nightmare. Um, unless you want to pay, I don't know how much it is per kilo, you bring it down to the, to the girls who have laundry machines and they, they, you know, they wash it and fold it for you. But I'm telling you, that gets expensive. It's not as cheap as you think to bring, you know, they charge it by the kilo. I'd done it before and I did it once or twice and it's, it's, it's expensive. It'll, it'll weigh you down. And the other option is you wash it by hand. And of course I don't wash it by hand, but the girls do and it's, 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 it's backbreaking work. Um, and I'm used to doing my own laundry. I've always done it myself. So I'm so happy to be able to do my own laundry again. I really am. Um, I like to have my clothes on a certain way. And it's funny because when the nanny washes it, you know, when our, our house, I call her a housekeeper, a nanny, a helper, whatever you want to call her, but she does the laundry and she'll dry it out on the line. Um, the one problem I have with that is they always put it on hangers. They put your heavy, wet clothes on a hanger and then they stick it up in the air and it stretches out all your collars, all your shirt is all stretched out from the hanger. So I, I'm always complaining about that. And um, whenever we get a new nanny, it's like, it takes them two or three times to get to get it, that you can't put my clothes on a hanger because it ruins them, stretches them all out. They're like no good. Um, this, the other thing is that when they fold the clothes, and this is with every single nanny, they fold the clothes, they don't turn them back, they're inside out. So they wash the clothes inside out and they dry them inside out and then they fold them inside out. They don't put them back. 
you know, they don't, you know, and I'm like putting clothes on and I'm walking around with inside out shirts and I don't realize it. And I'm like, damn, another inside out shirt. And it's, I don't know, for me, those little things really, really annoy the heck, heck out of me. Um, but so, you no, know, if I, if I complain now about laundry, the only person I can complain to is myself. Because I, I plan on doing my own laundry from here on out with my new lawn, with my new washing machine. I hope it doesn't disappoint. I really shouldn't have too high expectations like uh, like my machines in the U.S. So I'm trying to I'm trying to bring my expectation down a little bit. Um, I can't wait to see. I did a very small load. Um, I did like two or three towels, a couple of shirts, a couple of pairs of shorts, and some. Uh, bathing suits that were wet I used this weekend and that's it and so <clears throat> we'll see how it came out um, there's so much John drying it's got about 20 minutes left on the drying cycle and uh, so I don't know we'll see so thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and um, got a lot of, a lot of um, exciting things coming up a lot of progress um, they're working on the kitchen island it's, gonna look amazing oh, I can't wait to show you guys our uh, kitchen island um, they're they're cutting the wood now and getting it ready and uh, they'll be framing the um, the, count, the kitchen cabinets and once it's all framed in I can call the guys at Cebu Stone and Cebu and they'll they'll come out and, and install my, uh, my my quartz countertops it's gonna be beautiful um, I just hope I'm still here when they do it because I'm running out of time. I'm leaving in about, what, three or four weeks? So, anyways, thanks for subscribing. See you on the next one, guys. Thank you.